big. Some are heavier than 100 cars. But they still fly high in the sky. How do they do that? How can something so heavy stay up? Let's find out. It's not magic. It's science. Airplanes fly because of how air moves around them. This is called aerodynamics. Now look at the wings. They are shaped in a special way. Flat on the bottom and curved on the top. When the airplane moves, air goes faster over the top of the wing and slower under it. This makes a force called lift. Lift helps the airplane go up, like invisible hands lifting it into the sky. But the plane also needs to move forward. That's called thrust. The engines give the plane thrust. They blow out air and push the plane forward, like a big whoosh. As the plane moves, air pushes back. That's called drag. And don't forget about weight. That's how heavy the plane is. Weight pulls the plane down. So flying is a balance of four things. Lift goes up, weight pulls down, thrust pushes forward, and drag pushes back. Pilots use buttons and levers to steer the plane. They help the plane turn, go up, go down, or stay level. It's like dancing in the sky. When it's time to land, the engines slow down, the wheels come out, and the airplane gently lands on the ground. All the parts of the plane work like a team. The wings help it lift, the engines help it go, and the tail helps it stay steady. Even the nose of the plane is shaped to cut through the air easily. Everything works together to help the plane fly safely. Airplanes also have tiny parts called flaps and rudders. These help the airplane turn left or right, go up or down, and stay balanced in the air. Even small moves can make a big difference when flying high above the ground. So the next time you see a plane in the sky, remember, it's not magic, it's smart science and teamwork in the sky. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Subscribe to Brain Spark.